Oh, uh, uh. We interrupt our regularly special program. Wait a minute. We just got this in. Breaking news. Breaking news. Your friend and mine, Carl, in oh, the building. Fat, and you talk like a moron. I thought, Hello. I thought Zenhauser was here. I didn't know <laughs> that was for Host me. Of the Thanks, town guys. Now. Wow. Uh, but I wanted to bring this up to you because uh, I brought this up the other day. He's been doing a lot of talk about this private eye dust. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Now, here's my theory. We didn't bring that up on PDP today. That's my bad. Well, here's my theory about this. There is no private eye named Dustin. The person he's getting this information from is a person that we all know. Okay. And what John is trying to do, because when has John ever truly doxed someone that's helping him, that, mm-hmm. that he's gone out of his way to out them? So why does he keep using this name Dustin? Because in his lies, he exposes the truth, right? Okay. Always. So he's using this Dustin name because it's somebody we all know. So it's a cover. There is no Dustin. He says the guy lives in New Jersey. He wouldn't say these things if they were true about the guy that's getting all this dirt for mm-hmm. his, uh, on his uh, enemies for him. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I don't think he ever has a PI work at anything. He's said this multiple times. If you go back a year or two ago, he was getting all this information through IP addresses. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you guys don't even know. I know what state you're in. I, I might even say the state later, you know? <laughs> so he's always threatening things that would intimidate him. Um, but as far as Dustin being someone we know, is it someone you and I are on text threads with? No, I don't oh, think it's somebody okay. that close. I think it's somebody from the Dabbleverse that's very vocal in the Dabbleverse, but he's trying to protect that person. Uh, somebody in the real estate field, I feel, because a lot of the information he's giving is real estate related, hmm, if you notice. Okay. How much Carl owes on his house. Oh, you know? by the way, he's way off on that. So. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> that's the last point in all of this yeah. is, all of this information has been wrong right. for the most part. So it's fun watching. Don't get but me wrong. Imagine if he was correct about it. So I can't remember the number right. he threw out, but he's like. 45 Carl, grand. 45 grand he said you owe on your I house. owe on this house I live in in Rochester, right? Correct. I mm. wish. That'd be great. <laughs> that's why I was like, I was jealous when yeah. I heard it. I go, fuck, that's awesome. I, I bought it 11 years ago. That'd be insane. But I, okay. But imagine if he threw out a number that was correct. I can't imagine being intimidated by that. Like, oh, no. <laughs> well, oh, how, God forbid he would know something like that. Like, who gives a shit? Why would that well, matter? He gives a shit. And if you were to find out what he owed on property, he would lo- He would be upset. He would lose his shit over it. It would affect him. It doesn't affect anybody else right. that they try to, you know, uh, uh, ambush with this well, stuff. Well, I, I played a clip on Point Dabble Point today. Where and you and you guys have maybe have played it on here. I know you're doing his Thursday night stream when he got really drunk tonight. Yeah, right? yeah. You're doing this stuff. Oh, yeah so, yeah. so he was seven or eight beers in and he, he gave me a real good warning. He goes, oh, watch out. He goes, you're p- playing with the big boys now. Oh, and, uh, just wait until what I have in store for you. And I've been goofing on John for six years. <laughs> why? Why are we? Why is he waiting if he had yeah. anything? Right? Yeah, like all of a sudden now he's gonna take the gloves off. Like this should have happened years ago, John. I'm Carl, not intimidated in any way. You remember when he came back after his eight month break, and yeah. what was his whole opening statement was? Wait till you see what I have on these guys. Mm-hmm. I have I stuff did. on Bob, on yep. Shuli, on yep. Car, on Mike. You can't even believe. The bombshells. And he's like, and just wait till I come back. And then he comes back and just like, uh, uh, uh. The other, uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up to you was the fact that, uh, I probably can no longer enter Las Vegas because he's uncovered, uh, that I worked illegally as a blackjack dealer almost 30 years ago (laughs) without a high school diploma. Which I'm pretty sure wasn't a requirement when I got hired for the job. They- Im- imagine if it was. Who could possibly <laughs> give a fuck? There's play right, but there's people that don't even speak English. They just know numbers and, <laughs> and know. they work there. Like the view should go up a lot more since Carl is here. 
Uh, That's right. Yeah. I do. I do buy views, so I'll, I'll work <laughs> out. Right. Don't worry right. about it. But Im- imagine if you were the one folding the towels on a cruise ship and making those giraffes and shit. And it's like <laughs> this guy doesn't even have his high school diploma. He's making giraffes. I am gonna like carnival know about this. Yeah. This, yeah. this is what's so nuts because John, as you guys know, for two weeks now, has been talking about me and Vinnie Paulino going to prison for a phone Correct. call to a restaurant. Right. And so in John's mind, like there's, there's no level of tattling that won't lead to, to people's lives being ruined. Correct. Right. There's no I, statute of limitations <laughs> on whatever it is that thing is and how, unless it has to do with him. Then well, wait, like, that's what I was going to say. This is what's so incredible is that as soon as he started saying like Vinny called CB tomatoes and didn't say that they were on the air, uh, on the creep off and therefore we're going to go to prison for five years. And people are just like, Hey, remember when you played that call with Donald Trump and you pretended to be a Senator and then you put it on the internet, like that would be way more illegal for multiple reasons. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, how about this? And and uh, I don't know for sure, but I think I remember, didn't him, uh, didn't, didn't John call the Stern show back office when him and Royce were doing podcasts? Oh didn't, yeah. Didn't, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So he's calling from California two party consent mm. well <laughs> he's calling to new york and then they put it on the podcast let's go after him too let's it's, put him in california it was a prison. different time no it wasn't john oh, that that was his thing too when people called him out for that he was like that was six years ago <laughs> trump's team has a lot more to worry about than that you know he's always got <laughs> this weird excuse for uh why whatever he does is, is not in the wrong <laughs> it's insane amazing amazing so yeah oh but that was the other thing too back when he was doing the show with royce yeah. i remember the first time i reviewed his show and we were playing clips from his show and he goes on and he goes royce they can't play clips from my show that's illegal i'm gonna go after them and royce goes ah, i wouldn't worry about that john we we play clips from howard Stern. he goes no but that's because they're talking about me <laughs> like he always has this, this weird <laughs> loophole in his mind it's just like oh, okay so if they were talking about you you could play the clip what? It's amazing. This logic is something so else, stupid. man. That's not the clip I want. Fuck! And do you remember the three find, minutes of, uh, uh, oh, here yeah. it is, to yeah. just now say, that's not the clip I want. After that's not even it. the clip. So it took him three and a half minutes to find the wrong clip. Perfect. Exactly. It's the one where... Uh, Pretend I never heard you yell, grab the... It could be... It's something where Silent Mike... It says... I think the title was, you know, Stuttering John is looking for Silent Mike's um, divorce. Uh, Do you hear how he says, help me out? He's always talking to someone who's not there. Right. Well, I I pointed this out. I said, John's a lonely guy. He doesn't have a lot of friends. John mm -hmm. got very upset about that and started listing all of his friends that he has. Oh, yeah. That was extra douchey. Well, it's incredible because most of his friends are from Long Island where he grew up, who he doesn't see them at all. And then when he went to California, I think he listed three people. He's lived in California for 20 years. I think there were three people on the list. And then he even got to his brother in law and his nephew. He's listing all of his friends (laughs) and family members got included. And then my, my thing to this was like, I wish we could call those people and go, would you consider John a friend and hear their answer about it? You know, John, John Melendez. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. we went to school, to high school together, right? Yeah. Is that I, fucking guy I, I still that alive? Guy. Yeah, right. What? <laughs> Going after his divorce, the cry. Every day he has a reason to cry, and Mason to do a show, but that's what he's really angry. They they haven't done anything to me, and I dragging his family into this shit. I, it doesn't make me feel like a winner. It makes me kind of feel like him. Go. Up. Right. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> you want to listen to what he said? No, that's I love when it. he plays clips, yeah, that make him look bad. Because I've right. done that a couple times on this, where he's playing clips where you're yeah. talking about, like, John, you're the one who's praising Muttering Jay, and he yeah. called your kids out, and he got you fired. Just like, that's not the clip. That's not it. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, and I would love if more people on Truly's and Honors would just post you know, put the heading whatever you want. Put yeah. the title whatever you want. You don't have to put porn in it. Just put the wrong clip in there of him getting <laughs> roasted. It would be hilarious. No, that's wait a minute. Uh, hey. Oh, it'd be great. Ah, uh, Terps, come on, man. Oh, here it is. You got this. Okay, now, okay. This is this is it. But I don't know. Nope, that's not it either. I don't know what the fuck it is. Cause Silent Mike makes that dumb comment. Uh, about 
uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you know, uh, John, are, are you not going to find any fucking divorce payments? Scroll. Uh, <laughs> wow. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. But I don't it care. was something it where. Doesn't matter. I just set it up for eight minutes. I just, but... Yeah, I just spent eight minutes scrolling around in the summer. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. Scroll. Let's move on. All right. Uh, I'm just going to ask a question. We're all boomers yeah. here, obviously. Mm -hmm. You yeah. guys ever go to a, a web page, like on a Reddit page or something? Sure. And you're like, oh, I want to reference this later on my show. You ever right. copy the URL and yeah. paste it into your notes so yeah. that... Then when you're talking about it at your show, you could be like, yeah, let's watch this video. And you just Boom. paste it into your browser and you watch right. it. Like, John, that's how stupid you are. This is the most basic internet usage thing you could possibly do. Yeah, it's it's literally I'm up till one in the morning most nights doing exactly mm -hmm. that for the next <laughs> right. day. Like, you know, so on Point Devil Point today, we played a ton of clips. We, we normally don't do that, but I'm trying not to play as much stuttering John on who are these podcasts. So. I've been watching the last couple of nights. I've just been writing down timestamps. I'm like, oh, that was dumb. And I write down the timestamp. So today I went on and I just scrolled to the timestamp, clipped it, put it in my list, you know? Huh? Didn't take very you hear much that, time. Joe? You hear that, Joe? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's tick tock, tick tock, buddy. But didn't take didn't take much time at all. But could you imagine if I an hour before the show today just went scrolling through his show like yeah, he was talking about all his friends. Where, where was that? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Guys, if it takes me five seconds to share the screen, these guys are up my ass. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And it's like, this guy gives you eight minutes of this back to back, you That's know? And, and you know what? This is the hardest thing to clip and to show how bad John is his job. Because yeah. it makes our shows bad when you watch him just flail around for yeah. seven minutes at a time. You're like, well, I can't, I got to speed it up or something. Right. It's hard to portray well, this. Frog does something that I did a couple times with Eric the Midget was I took all of the dead pauses out, like all the gaps and all the and just made it like he could just talk normally. And yeah. it was like 40 seconds, but <laughs> all that audio was seven minutes with the, all the uhs and the beeps and the blops and all this shit. Fucking wild. And real quick, I'm looking at the chat. I'm I'm Gen X too, but we have to call ourselves boomers. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we have to do. Silent Mike goes, Well, John, are you not gonna find any fucking uh any uh you know child support uh well, I said it better issues yet. Yeah, he started yeah. the show by saying, Mike, uh I never went to jail for missing uh, child support payments, which makes you a hypocrite because you know who did? Bob Levy. Whoa. What? what a magic trick that was. He's insane. <laughs> Took us on a journey there. I was like, I'm looking at Mike going, Mike was in the clink. Look at this. Well, had... he's, he's trying to do guilty by association. Sure. But didn't John just sign up for being on the Bob and VTL show? According to mm -hmm. John and, and VTL, it's a go. Yeah. So apparently he's, he's ready to work with Bob on that, but he can call out Mike for working with of Bob. Course. And yeah, like, okay. and I and I know the rumor is that uh, I have I have uh, faxed over uh, his contract to Bob to remind him that he is under contract and is not <laughs> not the case. Bob can go and do whatever show he wants to do. Uh, so just want to clarify that nobody's being told not to do anything. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you liked it. If you did, here's a few more you can check out. Or if you want to do a deep dive, patreon.com slash the Shuli Network. Everything we do is live. So if you're signed up to Patreon, you'll get to be a part of it with us. All right, we'll see you guys. Thanks. Bye.